Hello and welcome to the Wicked Edition. Thank you for joining us for yet another classic episode. I'm your host, Dr. Kingori. Our reporter, Kinyanchui, is also on standby with the details of what happened here. Hey! Manze didi masbaraza ni kama hananga kismat na keo sata kidogo. Ye ndiyo kama brand ambassador wakufurugwa. Kenya Njui, our reporter, has the details of that coming up in a bit for you. Our subject, uh, anama area of focus, kwa hii episode ni area moja interesting sana. I'm sure you have seen this video online. Our guests for this episode are two gentlemen who are inside those vehicles every day. Leo tuko na madere wa gari za mira. Sema adrenaline. These are pilots who fly on ground. Isaac Kuria na Justus Munene are in the house. Asante sana. Hapo sawa maze we'll be talking to them in a bit. But first, this week maze Rastafarians rushed to court to petition for the legalization of marijuana. Ama kevangi vile tuluko tunaita embu. Sativa, which is the marijuana, should be allowed for cultural, spiritual, and medicinal use. They are required to use it for the purpose of manifesting their faith and creating that connect, connection between themselves and their creator. The eating, the drinking, the use or the burning of incense or the bathing with marijuana. But the moment I saw that story, it was confirmation that a new bang you let a confidence. For starters, bang is illegal. Now, going to court to ask for its legalization because of its benefits, how did you know? I know lawyers will argue that their clients traveled to Uganda, smoked it, and then came back with the findings. So, hata legalization debate, ni fair tundi wanataka kusave. Now, I found this story very confusing because there's no evidence first that these Rasta men have ever smoked weed. Look at how humble they look. Now, if they have ever smoked weed, and this is how humble and how harmless they are. Elia. Maze ukiona yu humility yote makes you wonder why alcohol is legal. Sinyi mmeona watu wamekunywa pombe? Leke mali mnataka tupele kutumeua nani? Stop nonsense. Huku tuko kwa kafoa, watumetoseka. Maze ukaoneshwa hizo video alafu ulizwe ni nani wamevuta bangi? Based on what we know. Now if you ask me, there's no evidence again that these gentlemen have ever smoked. I think this petition is them asking for permission to commit the crime. Now in fact, hawataki hata ikuwe legal kwa kila mtu, wanataka ikuwe yao, Rastafarians. They say they want marijuana legalized for religious purposes, uh, claiming that it brings them closer to their maker, their creator. Wanataka kuoga nayo, waitumie kama sacrament. Wengine mkioga na damu ya Yesu, wangwana hapa wanataka kulindu wa nasupu ya bangi. Now, personally, I respect the fact that they have gone to court to ask for, for permission. However, I hope that it will, this will not give people ideas that this can apply to everything that is illegal. Ndasikia kesho ati watu wangeta pia wameingia milimani na maloyazo wao. Eyu waona maze. Igi zaote ya kayole mataka tufanyie nini. Tunawamba mtambuwe nyongolo. Ndi at least usaidie makarao ku enforce curfew. Now we want. <laughs> we want to bring Kenyans closer to the Yameka. Now see. Now, as much as I hold the opinion that there's no evidence that how an ati wetu wajai vutabangi. Someone would argue that. The, the move to go to court itself to describe to the court the benefits of an illegal substance could be evidence of smoking weed. We'll be preparing a full show on this weed debate for our next episode. Maze, stay tuned. Yo, why kukosa for anything? Now, in other news, in case you missed it, this company, kuna kampuni naitua each night. It's offering jobs za kulala, halafu wanalipa mtu 150,000 for 30 days. That's like 5K per day for just sleeping. So that they can gather uh, mattress reviews, sleep, health, uh, CG pros and cons of taking a nap. And then we dug deeper to, f uh, to find out why this news wasn't a big deal. I'm a big hit in Kenya. Only to find that Kumbe, we as Kenyans pay more for the same job ya kulala. In fact, every five years, Kenyans choose over 2,000 nappers to go sleep on their behalf at a, a, a fee of over 1 million shillings per month per napa. Plus allowances. Alafu it's on a five-year contract after which we renew the contract based on how they woke up on their final nap. I'm a final lap. Maze generosity. Sisi wa Kenya nye maze kwa generosity index. Generosity is one of our greatest traits as Kenyans. 
Hapo tunafaa congratulations. We are very selfless. We are the most selfless nations, especially when it comes to our politicians. Take the example of the by-elections that took place this week. Bonchari na Juja. The news of the winners has nothing to do with what they will do for the people who elected them. It's all about the side they were playing for. Mara, the president has lost or the deputy president has won. Basically, we don't vote for us. We always vote for them. Literally. Maze, show ya leo ni adrenaline. Vletu nimesema, on this episode we feature Mira Transporters, aka the drivers of these vehicles. Dege. Isaac Kuri and Justice Munene are joining us on the other end of this short commercial break. Maze, see you guys in a bit. Hi, I'm Dr. King Ori. There's something I'd really love to show you around this place. Calling this your home with from as low as 4.5 million Kenya shillings. I don't even need to mention it. For more information about this property, please visit www.ambavillasmalindi.com or use the contact details on your screen or click the link in the description below. Welcome back to the Wicked Edition. I'm Dr. Kingori Maze. This is one of the episodes that I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about the adrenaline. I'm going pilots who on ground. I'm going to talk about In studio, uh, first of all, special thanks to Mdau Moja, and it was Lenson Moriongi. I'm going to to set up. He actually reached out through Instagram. I'm going to vibes for the people who are going to talk about the people who are going to talk about the people Credits to Lenson, akanichanua, akaniambia, hakuna msa ya story na madere wa gari ya veve. So, akanisaidia kuset up na tuka get in studio, madere wa wili, wanakapia, wamepigia experience kidogo, watupatia vibes za kukuwa on the road na hiyo adrenaline yote. So, in studio, tuko na Isaac Kuria, a.k.a. Kush, karibu sana. Thank you so much. Eh, hey, alafu, sasa pia, tuko na Justice Munene, a.k.a. Gunen. Jina yake ya mta, karibu sana. Mi kama nimesha na indesha gari, tuseme kama 10 years. Siyezi pewa gari ya veve na niende nayo? Awezi. Tofauti ni gani? Si utrai kumaintain. Si ati si over speed. Si u maintain max speed. Una maintain kama ni so. For very kumdam refu. Si ati uende 120, 140, urudi 70, 50. Who accelerate 10 na hivu? Aa. Ni ni kumaintain consistency. Constant speed. Kama ni 110, yo 110. Si shuke. New balance aji kumake sure umepata hiyo average na kuna matao na unapitaje kati ya town na 110 well unaona between towns eh yes uh, what, what we normally say is uh, there is life at at stake you you can lose 5 minutes eh and cover it back ukimalizana na town ah eh ukimalizana na town you can stretch to 120 to recover lost time hiyo agency ya kufikisha veve kwanza mm. inakuangaya nini mbona mtu anaweza uliza kama vile wasi uko warudi anasema kama uko na haraka si ungetoka jana mm -hmm. eh, unajua mira ni kitu perishable okay yeah na sisi utoka mbali sana we, we come a long journey kuweka ile commodity kwa gari for that time eh, yes. inachomeka ikifika oh, it, it, because of heat yes. so we need kukimbia ile upepo ipige mali ifike ikiwa safi Oh, kwa hivyo upepo ndiyo inasaidia. Eh, inasaidia. So hii ni kuharvest upepo muna kuanga muna harvest mkiwa. Ndiyo hiyo. Ndiyo tunatafuta hiyo upepo. Tunaka harvest. Tunaleta hiyo balance. Ah. Una, usisau kuna mirai kwa kwa karai. Karai yuku chini. Unaelewa? Yes. Ilefu, unajua tumepanga. We need it to be in room temperature. Ndiyo ifike Nairobi. Ikifika hivi. Ni kama imetoka tu kwa shamba sa hiyo. Eh, Immediately. Eh, eh. Bado ikona hiyo kuna kabaridi nini ya ina jota yote. So mkipata jam ni asara? Tukipata jam ni noma. Unasikia kulia? Na sengine nyu ujipata kwa jam? Unajipata kwa jam, unakanyaga kando, kando. So unless upate watu wanajua. Kwa naelewa. 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 Kwa naelew
au oh, nyinyi kama ambulance ya veve as in mm-hmm. veve no, iko hey. hali maututi eh hey, kuna wale wasi wanajua ai ni gari ya veve mwashata ah, pita pita what is the training like ndio uenda she gari ya mira kwanza lazima ukuwe na passion ya job passion ya job mm-hmm. yeah. si kila mtu anapenda ku drive uh-uh. but everybody kila mtu anapenda ku drive but si kila mtu anapenda ku drive shift gear na unajua ile ile ni job ile ni ofisi eh hey. hey, hey. ukiingia pale unajua mwingia mwingia job uko soba nini if if to ulale poa kule breakfast mzuri be on your sober mind sober mind yeah. ndio watu wengine wasikue soba because <laughs> wanasema anga ukiwa dereva when you on the road eh, you are the only sober person au wengine hawako soba so uki, ukiingia kwa gari hauwezi onja hata veve ati Zee. ama ah, yo, veve hakuna hiyo time hakuna hiyo time hakuna hiyo time na what's the rate ya kwa madere wa mira compared na gari za kawaida in terms of causing accidents gari za kawaida zina cause a lot of accidents kuliko za mira eh. kuliko za mira na si tumekewa hiti eh. unajua watu wengi pi, watu wanaenda road trip eh? mm-hmm. watu wako safari zao za stare mtu wa matatu anakimbia huko anataka afanye sijui trip ine unaelewa kuna chaos huko kwa dunia yenu kwa dunia yetu tunajua ni one touch ni rudi. kwa dunia yenu wewe unataka uende Zika, urudi usijui ende Maimayu, unataka uende wapi? Uko kwa kio kwa dinga umeshikisha oh, sijui mama, sijui nini watoi, watoto, unajua kuna vitu vitu yako ili unakulanga hapa, umechanganya kila kitu kwa gari moja. Sisi hakuna hiyo, ni focus on the job. Aha. Nikifikisha mzigo hiyo mambo ingine baadaye. Na ni ukweli ati gari ya veve ikikos accident. Kuna kuanga na gari ingine ya kukuja kuokoa mira. Sio sio dere na kru. Is that true? Hiyo <laughs> ni hiyo kwanza tulikuwa tuna grow tukijuanga hivyo. Mm-hmm. Inakuanga kuna kuanga na backup ya mira isiende hasara. Mhm. Hiyo lazima iko. How does that make you feel that mira ni valuable kukushinda? Si valuable. Si valuable. Uh-huh. Mhm. Gari, gari ya kwanza kufika hapo tuseme lazima kutakuwa na hizi gari ndogo ndogo si lazima pick up. Ah. Au kwanza watakusaidia. Kitu next sando veve. Ile gari inakuja next iko na tani boy, si ndio? But hiyo ni kujifanya tu ndio usisikie vibaya but sasa target ni mera ifike. Wakifika pale eh tani boy ndio anabaki na hii meanguka for instance. Yes. Driver amesonga na nyinyi hospitali na iko na imebeba ni arrest hospital. Uh-huh. Eh, ule amebaki on ground ndio ana control because we know each other. So mnajua m- mkiongea mtu ana feel ni kama ni ka society ka dog society. Nikitoa simu yangu like I have number ya kila dereva. Kila dereva yeah, anajua nani walienda load wa Nani alienda huko nani, nani. Nairobi. Hata kingori ukiniambia kuna sijui nini nataka ikameru na kuambia piga hii namba but huyo mzee hapo pumbwani ataniletea meru. Watu ujichocha sana hapa wanajua ku drive hapa nje. Si ndio? Mm. How long does it take kutoa kurutu kama mimi wa road trip kuingia kwa system ni trustiwe na gari ya mira? You maybe we will take a year. One year na gava ina jua driving school watu wanafaa kwenda one month. Tutachukua one year kwako because tutakutoa automatic eh? mm-hmm. na kelele mingi kwa barabara tukuingize kwa mbio kwanza urudi nyumbani kwa mzazi upige hesabu inheritance <laughs> itaenda na ndugu yangu upigishwe kona mbili tatu, tatu. hivi tumbo ingie maji so hata wewe hapa umekaa kuna kona ulipigishwa ukaingia baridi ya gedheri ilipanda <laughs> ilipanda <laughs> wewe kwitu ukasema aniaje mimi staki history kabisa alinikujia nyumbani nilikuwa nimeinua alikuwa mesari alikuwa mesari Oso ni kama ni kama disciplined forces wasiingia yeah. na wanakuit. Yeah, mse uingia anapiga trip kala anasema eh hey, hapana. Bila maisha yengine jo hii kitu na dedi hapa. Kiwa kama dere mm-hmm. ucheleweshe veve ifike kama imeungua what happens? Ulikuwa na jam inaeleweka zi happen. Zimai ku happen ya? Mm. Ngumu. Ngumu. Afadhali uingie kwa kichaka but mira ifike. Mm. Ni ngumu. Ah bro au hujawahi kwa history ya kari yako kwa 6 years nyume drive gari ya veve haujawahi chelewa mhm labda na dakika kidogo 
kidogo sana. Unaweza chelewa lakini si chelewa uchome veve atirudi. Ah ah. Uki, veve ikichomeka inarudi. Eh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Inaenda api tena. Kwa hiyo pro yenye nyu kwa nayo kuna dere pro mwenye ya ubit hiyo time yenye imewekwa. Anafika na under 2 hours. Unajua pia tunaangalia other road users. Una forget. Okay. We are not selfish. Hakuna haja upige hiyo one one hour 30 minutes na uchome uchome CV eh yeah, hizi dinga siku hizi kuna kwenye oh, zipenda wame, wamerudi ni ile wakati ya kuanguka no, most people believe mm. eh atujasoma we are, we are not elite ya wase wase driver kwa under influence ya my drugs ni kwa under influence mm. eh na ndio hiyo hiyo ndio ile perception nyingi mko nayo kuinje eh hawa ni wazinga hawa ni watu wa D plus piga mandom ni let me tell you something dr kingori we yes, have sir. doctors who yes. are driving we have engineers who are driving yes eh. we have ex forces who are driving these things yes 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 people with skills with grades yes yes, eh? yes. Eh. ni watu wako na akili timamu but okay. passion for the game ili ulienda ukamaliza ile mzazi alikuwa anataka alafu ukaingia ukakuja na ukiwa kwa barabara wewe ni gari ya mira of course kuna pride flani ya mse wa subaru amei kujaribu msa subaru amejaribu imani yako hiyo ndio kitu natusumbua kwa hii barabara kabisa subaru eh subaru nation specifically subaru ah wewe sikiaje ukiona mtu wa subaru subaru na probox mimi slow na na muonesha wewe shinda eh anateremsha kio na kuonesha twende kwanza akiwa na mama hapo na try kumuonesha hawa hakuna kitu you let them win because you are smart Boko job ya kostare ya kostare si umeshinda 15 minutes after hata akumbuki utapita tu <laughs> Ume study tabia wa Kenya kwa barabara nzuri sana tumezoom ndani tunawajua ni nini sasa other than how ni nini nyingine hiyo wakasirisha kwa barabara kitu hiyo waudhi tu ukiingia kwa as in bad day in office piki piki <laughs> Pikipiki uh-huh. na punda bali. Na punda. Pikipiki na punda hampendi kabisa. kabisa. Punda inaga reverse. Punda tu kumekuja speed gun ikiingiza kichwa hivi imeingia kwa road. Meji pata kwa choice kwa choice ya kuchagua life ama sheria in this sense. Umekuja we unajua uko sawa. Yeah. Mtu wa nduthi atoke anywhere. Umekuangana hizo ma reflex za utasevu mtu wa nduthi ama yeye yeah, 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 alikuwa anaenda wapi ajipange? Reflex number one, sisi kuki personally yes. mtoto mdogo kids mm. hakikanyanga barabara ndalimi igari kichaka uingie ubuni eh. mtu mzima umefika miaka ya kwenda kwa Mungu kama kuja but Hai. with the kuendesha gari ya manual eh iko na advantages mingi sana unaweza simamisha na haraka Okay. Automatic unajua kikanyanga ina slide. Yes. Mani unainyima, unainyima hewa. Oh. Eh, za moto za baridi unainyima. Unasimama hapo. Mnapenda mnapenda job yenu. Wewe ETS haujakuwa na incident. But what's the scariest Zini thing unaona kwa barabara? Mimi nimedunda mara kama nne. Umedunda na gari mara nne? Eh, nimedunda mlolongo, mtito. Kuna time tumedunda rara tukirudi empty. Empty. Na si empty mnaenda na unaanguka na 60. Simwe mkirudi ya mnanga pressure. Uliyanguka na 60 oh, inaanguka mzuri sana. Yaani umeona unaenda kuanguka wenye unaweza teguka na uanguke ushindoni hadi nimea yeah. hivyo. Na inaanguka tu. Yeah. Na, na bado unaamka tena uende. Hakuna was the scariest thing basi imekupata kwa barabara wewe. Mimi zile matrela uachwa kwa barabara na wajaweka easy life saver na imekuwa noma sana. Hiyo ndio kitu. Unyeka baridi kabisa kwa barabara ni nini ungependa public jue as far as your job ya mira is concerned kuna county si tunapita tukienda place ka alamu wana tu overcharge ni ulipa kupita yes. yeah eh yeah. county ka tana river wana tu charge pick up kupitia mira si yao tumepitia tu tana river tukia alamu county wana tu charge 7000 pick up lori inalipa 15000 so unashanga unalipa hiyo yote ya nini pa trip yeah. pa trip eh ukipita tu hapo 7000 na mali sisi tumetoka tumelipa ses 1000 shillings 1000 shillings tunalipa meru lamu tutalipa 
final so, destination tulipisha 7000 unashindwa ni nini Nani, you know, that's the only county in a, in a charge access. Yeah, in a charge access. And we cross so many counties that don't charge us. We are on transit. Tutapita wapi? Tumetoka huko tumelipa shambani, tutapita Meru county yenyewe, si ndio? Yes. Tutapita Tharak, Embu. Tharakani ili kwa. Tharaka, Tharakani ili Embu. Tupite Embu, Machakos. Machakos. Kitui. Kitui. We are crossing all these counties peacefully. Kitu kingine mngependa wasewa jue? your business isoko yetu soko soko ya soko, soko somali haya tunaomba gavai tushughulikie soko ifu, okay. uh-huh. so many people are suffering so many people but kitu poa imenibamba na hii conversation ya ti landa wanalifunga somalia ikafunguka yeah. right kama somalia ilifunguka then basi watu wakikaa chini market ingine ifunguke watu wako willing kupata job uh, si ati wako willing itafungulia wasi nafasi ya madere kazi yende yende hata sisi si madereva sana everybody stands to benefit it's a whole economy yeah so the story market i believe that gets to the right places ama the right ears na the right people will take action iko sawa shout out legend mwenye unatambua pale home unajua ile lazima itafika huko eh kuna wewe budali yangu kajana usiku anaitwa combo combo anaendelea kupata recovery maze combo maze shout out our uh, prayers uh, kutoka kwa gunen na the whole team maze get Hello us birthday ah happy birthday to you <laughs> thank you for honoring us na your presence on your birthday thank you for the sacrifice kush kuna kitu kingine ungependa kusema i have friends who support me a lot yes i have mcu tickers i have seth i have kifo admin i have friends who, who watch my back eh wananiambia ngaenda bro eh i have my wife and my kids I have two kids wana nipianga nguvu naambia baba enda utatuletea na ukumbuke kuomba naambia tuombe saa hii na nitaomba nikiwa kwa gari juu kila time ukienda ukirudi ni god's grace it's by god's grace i'm actually honored that mmepata time kukuja kuongea na sisi which i believe was such a struggle he did take different levels of confirmation before we get once again asante ni sana tuna ku invite by the way unaweza come to pige moja nini trip trip, trip, trip. Mm. Um, ni ingiza baridi ho baba ah stop ingiza <laughs> hii tunakubeba kama arif eh utembee ona dunia ah by then to make sure and to make sure tumerecord yeah. alafu tuoneshe wase hiyo experience vile inakaa mm. eh hey, ukachukue kamoja kasafi one it's fun man it's fun asante ni sana tuta hapa unaweza ondokea una come to tunaweza eh tunaweza pigia pia hata uko twende trip na na hey. gari yangu eh hey. <laughs> yako sitakuleta si huko alafu tuende na yetu eh hey. hey. sawa so, looking hey. forward any time bro asante ni sana that's it for the weekend edition see you next week my name is dr kingori <laughs>